Maybe if I could do it for long enough, I can uh, just stop the whole swearing altogether and sound like I'm actually intelligent. Are we live? I'd love it if it started with me saying I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, I don't think it's live yet. I'm wasting precious minutes. And we're live. Okay. Alright. I already put my uh, ink ribbons away. So now, we're gonna start using those keys. Oh boy, we got the keys! We got the keys! I'm not gonna use the shield key just yet because um, I'll immediately have to run back down here for the serum when I do. Hello, Lucy. I used the armor key. Hooray! It'll be really awkward if I do get into the habit of not swearing when we're recording stuff. Because mm -hmm. um, there'll be a small chunk from like Final Fantasy VIII, the parasite, the first half of Tokimeki, <laughs> where I sweared a lot. Uh huh. And then it just ceases. Ooh, shotgun shells. I will take those. Thank you. Thank you very much. Also, the broken shotgun is in here. Uh, if we hadn't have taken the shotgun from the room, we would just use that and the ceiling wouldn't have come down. If you don't want Barry to save you, you come here first. Yeah, but you definitely need it on Chris because no one will save him. Yeah, you will die. Yep. You'll get smushed. Smush. Smush. You smushy. At the very least, I'm going to avoid... The hard swears. Because they're hard. They're hard. <laughs> yes. Oh, I've been in here already. Itchy tasty room. Itchy tasty? I don't want to read that one again. That's itchy, a hard room. Itchy tasty. It's a hard book. Itchy tasty. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the map. It's a map. It's a map. It's a map. This doesn't really tell me anything. Although I think this door is locked. Nope. Or not. Just connects you back to that one hallway where uh, Kenneth died, I believe. Kenneth! Hey. Oh no! I need to pause the stream. There you go. Okay, and then that's the piano room. Okay, so and then now let's go upstairs. Because that's one room unlocked. I don't think there's anything down here except the plant room. Yep. Bum, ba, da, da. So I went to Dairy Queen and there was this ice cream. It was vanilla with cherry ice cream underneath of it and then they covered it in blue pop rocks and then they just shoved this I will say a bad word. Shoved this a big old popsicle on top of it. Uh huh. Um. It was darn good. I remember Pop Rocks. Pop Rocks are pretty alright. Do I have any more shotgun? Yes, I do have more shells. I mostly don't eat things that are nothing but sugar anymore, but if I am going to eat one, it's going to be Pop Rocks. Pop Rocks. Because they actually taste. The ice cream is only okay. Like, Dairy Queen is good and all. I just don't like cherry ice cream that much. Yeah, well, but it was 4th of July themed, so huzzah. Oh, I see. I get it. Haha, -ha, red, white, and blue. Yeah. Oh, the popsicle is a star with a red top, a white middle, and a blue bottom. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't really do anything for 4th of July. Ah! I had the day off, but I didn't really go out and do anything. They were setting up like a little mini carnival in the mall parking lot that's right near me, though. So that looked cool. Nice. Ride the carousel. Get kidnapped. It's heavy rain. Jason! Jason! I was like, I saw like a little Ferris wheel type thing, and I'm not sure. They were setting it up a couple days ago. I was gonna make a joke about Tokimeki, but I legitimately can't remember anyone's name. Uh, there's Hazuki. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. You can ride the Ferris wheel with Hazuki. <laughs> with Hazuki. And uh, I did the thing. It's huge. Okay, there's nothing up here, so we'll go over this way. Do 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 do. Da 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 da. Hopefully, we'll get back to Toki. One of these days. That's the shield room. I don't want to go in there yet. I use the armor key. And this is a lot less complicated than the remake. Oh. Uh. What is it? I just gotta push. Oh, yeah. In the remake, you gotta push different night sets. Yeah. in place to, like, lock the vents. Yeah. And this one, you just gotta move the statues over the vents. Or poisonous gas will fill the room. And you will be dead. And I will be dead. Do you want to be dead? That's how you get the dead. There's a switch, we push it. I will take all the things. Oh, it's another crest. I'm so happy. So happy. Can you tell how happy I am? You sound ecstatic. I am ecstatic. Ecstatic. Uh, so I was reading online and I saw a tweet that was like, what if the reason Chris got so buff for Resident Evil 5 is he went to a fortune teller and saw the big boulder in his future and got buff <laughs> to fight it? <laughs> and, uh... Yeah? yeah it's pretty good. I can see that happening. A response to that tweet was, he thought BSAA stood for Big Strong American Arms and nobody <laughs> corrected him on it. <laughs> Strong American arms. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> researchers will. My dear Alma, the fact that you have received this letter is both a joy and a sadness for me. I could not even talk to you because of that guy in the sunglasses. Alma, be calm and read this. I think I've told you that I moved to a pharmaceutical company's lab. They headhunted me. Last month, there was an accident in the lab, and the virus we were studying escaped. All my colleagues who were infected by the virus are dead. To be accurate, they've become the living dead. They still wander around. Some of them are knocking on my room door desperately right now. But there's no sign of intelligence in their eyes. That cursed, that cursed virus takes away all humanity from the human brain. Love, joy, sorrow, fear. I'm sorry, is this Metal Gear Solid 3? I guess. <laughs> Love, joy, <laughs> sorrow, fear, humor. In eternally? Eternally. And Alma. Even the memories of you of these day the days I spent with you. Yes. I'm infected. I did everything I could, but I could only delay the progress by a few days. The most frightening thing is that I forget more about you by the day. So I choose a peace I chose a peaceful death rather than becoming the living dead. Within an hour I will have entered my eternal sleep. I do hope you'll understand my decision. Goodbye and forever yours, Martin Crackhorn. I went full on like Resident Evil One voice acting for that one. <laughs> That's fine. It fits. That's why I did it. I thought it would be fitting. I will take the ink ribbon. It is mine. It's my ink ribbon. It's you can't mine. have it. It seems to be someone who searched here already. It appears to be a switch. Will you push it? Yeah. Um. I believe this puzzle is different in Remake. Yeah, it is. In Remake, there's a bug. 
and a fishing lure, and you need to grab the fishing lure, its hook, and the bug, and switch their places. You gotta push it this In way. the original, you do all this dumb yes. stuff. I'm just gonna throw it out there. If anyone watches this and catches a moment where I swear, timestamp it and yell at me. <laughs> I believe there's just herbs in here, but let's see. I'm gonna cultivate a new friendly, f family friendly image. <laughs> family friendly. That's mostly a joke. Uh, I just thought it'd be fun to force myself to stop swearing. Like a, like a challenge when I taught myself how to whistle by just doing it for weeks on end until I figured out how to do it. I need to do that. It was, like, basically all I did is any time I was just, wa if I was walking to the fridge, it was just, <sighs> <sighs> until I figured out that it's, <sighs> my lips are dry, hang on. There we go. That wasn't a sign for you, cat. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like you called for me? You rang. You rang? I'm gonna go drop some stuff so, off. So the next one I'm gonna do is just, like, consciously force myself. To subconsciously not swear. Because mm -hmm. if I'm in a public place where I don't want to swear, I have to like think about it. So I'm gonna do the opposite, where I teach myself to not do it naturally. Yeah. If I want to swear, I can. I have to make the conscious effort to do so. Partially because I start swearing a lot more than I used to, and mostly just because I thought it'd be like it'd be something to do. Kill time. Let's see. Out there. Also, to try to keep it in line with what I'm doing with my main channels now, where I'm not swearing specifically. Since I'd have to script it, and I'm not going to script myself swearing, that'd be awkward. It's like, I swear this is the only Resident Evil game where you have to use the start button to actually get into your menu. I think if this game's like triangle, or the top button, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I, I did a playthrough of Resident Evil 3, and now I'm doing my practice run for Zero, and it's... Well, in 2, you just hit Triangle. Yeah. But this one, you gotta hit the Start button. It's, it's kind of like... I wonder if I can change that in the key config or something. Because that would be helpful. Do we have options? I don't think we have... Do we have options? No? All right. That's fine. Which I guess it is going to make the some of the older LPs in streams kind of awkward in hindsight when I sweared a lot more. Swore. That's okay. Especially Parasite Eve. Where it started with me saying F you. Yeah. <laughs> I think I get a pass on that one though because that was funny. Well, to be fair, everybody was swearing in that LP. Oh yeah, no. I mean, that's just the way CLG works. Everyone swears. And I'm sure when I'm surrounded by everyone swearing, I'll probably let out a couple out too. Mm -hmm. But if I have to make it a conscious, conscious effort, at least I can pick them and make them more meaningful. Yeah. If I choose one to swear, it'll be more meaningful and funny. I can time it better. I don't expect anyone else to stop swearing. That yeah. would just be awful. Yeah. It's just CLG's thing is just we're all a bunch of inappropriate people who make <laughs> bad jokes and swear. And I won't stop being horribly inappropriate for, you know. Toki. Anything. Yeah. Any LP. I just thought I could time my swears better, so I had to teach myself not to do it. And then it'll affect streaming positively as well. We don't say swears. We don't say swears. I was actually thinking about Germa the other day and like his his fee spee videos. Spee. spee. I'm like, oh yeah. Team Fortress 2 was a thing. That's a game that exists. Yeah. That he doesn't play anymore. Oh really? Yeah. He also streams now more than he does make YouTube videos, so that's fun. I think Overwatch kind of 
overpowered Team Fortress 2. Okay, just need one more crest now. And I just gotta find this last room where I can use this armor key. I think it's out in the main hall. Let's see, I've been in that room. What about this room? It's locked with the carving of a helmet. Whoa. Whoa, wait, hold on. Hello? Hello? The call dropped. I... Did it drop? I think I might have accidentally hit the X arrow. Oh. <laughs> Just all of a sudden. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. I thought I had minimized Skype for a second. Someone sent me a message, and I was just like, oh, I'll just minimize this real quick. And then it just closed, and I didn't even notice. And I was like, wait, why isn't she talking? I'll just start a conversation. So I started talking about Overwatch, and I was like, it's really silent. <laughs> There's puppies. Um, can I shoot you? Can I get the screen share back? Oh, der. I forgot. Forgot. I forgot. The Echo Knight review is uh, almost ready. I just need the script to be proofread. Once it gets finished proofreading, all I have to do is uh, record the script and it's up, basically. So, you know, a review that's been actually like two months in the making is almost ready. And there is a crap load of herbs here, so yeah, I'm just gonna grab them all. Uh, in this one, in this in the remake, uh, those dogs don't show up right away. I think they show up later on normal difficulty, but not mm -hmm. easy. And I think you get the herbicide out here, right? Yes, you do. You get the herbicide out here, right where those two green herbs are. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Echo Night review. Basically, I'm just waiting for Frieza to get it back to me, and then be good to go. Yay. But first he's gotta get it back to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the only thing out here was the herbs, but that's okay. I can just stash them. And it is the 4th of July. I don't know if like, you can hear about the loudness that's going on outside. Oh yeah, it is the 4th today, so uh, if you're watching this later, even though it's not... Uh, the 4th anymore. Happy 4th of July. Yeah. Happy 4th of July. Enjoy your freedom. <laughs> Insert national anthem here. It's when you make a joke and play the USSR theme instead. <laughs> Back in USSR. Oh, there's, a, there's another herb here. I completely missed it. It's mine now. Now... I know it's a bit redundant, but I'm going to run back and drop this off. Hey, man. Do what you do. I'll be doing a lot of backtracking that I could cut out, but I'm not going to. Like, I could do more optimally, but I won't be. Mm -hmm. So, you know. I just I just want to make sure I have enough room for whatever is in that last uh, armor key room to pick up. Because I already know I missed a red herb that's upstairs. i got to go get it later. A red herb. Bonus points with this me learning the swear less thing. Mm -hmm. If family ever finds their way to like the CLG channel or something, I can be like, well, I've already cut that part of my vocabulary out, so don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry about it. I don't have them linked on any of my channels right now. But I'm gonna make a, like a introductory introductory introductionary in video that's like the first thing that shows up on the channel mm -hmm. that just explains what I do on it and then like all the other channels I'm on which is like three other channels yeah and explain how almost none of the other ones are family friendly so you probably shouldn't go there if you want family friendly anything because <laughs> we talk about awful stuff like everything in Tokimeki. Yeah. And 
I'm not sure I could count how many dick jokes we made during Parasite Eve. We made a lot. A lot of dick jokes. That's true. It's our specialty, really. So I'll probably just be like, yeah. I also, there's also Let's Plays and streams here, but we say bad words and talk about bad things, so don't go there. You don't want to hear bad words and bad things. Is there a door? Where's the last door? Um. Ooh. I will take this. I don't know where it would be in the original. Um, does it take you to the kitchen? Oh, that's probably what it is. Oh, hi. Because I usually go to the kitchen, like, one of the last places, because it's actually mostly irrelevant. Yep. But you get that badass... Don't say swears. Don't say swears. Then you get that cool cut seed. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You can say swears. I just wanted to make the joke. Don't say hey, swears. swears. Like I said, I'm not going to worry about anyone else saying stuff. I'm not res I'm not responsible for anyone else's language. I'm not even really that worried about my own. I just like doing things. It's like I like those those things you can do that just kill like those two or three second moments of like empty dead air you have in your day to day life. Mm -hmm. Like maybe you know you're playing a game and you're just waiting to respawn, so you just oh, I'll work on my whistling a little bit <laughs> or whatever. Well, I believe the costume closet is in this room. Yeah, in remake, it's um that room. Where we said don't go in it because it only has a dagger in the room with the first floor map. That's yeah. where the costume closet is. Yeah. The zombie doesn't spawn until you go to the left of that door, so you can go in there and get your costumes no problem without getting attacked. Thankfully. Yeah. Okay, there's nothing in here. So let's leave. Except the uh, the herb and the ink ribbon. Herb. The herb. Herb. If we want to be British, we would say herb. The herb. Because there's an H in it. Okay, let's go across the way. Actually, how much space do I have? Hmm. Well, I'll be getting rid of the key if it's the last room, so. I'm pretty sure. I'm, it's either that one or the sword key. I can't remember. I think you're I think you're right. I think it is the kitchen, but we'll see. The helmet key is only used for the snake. Or the shield key. Is yeah. Only used for the snake. At least in remake. Oh, nope, not that not that. Kitchen is just the far end. Yeah. Uh just a, another difference between this and remake. That zombie that Barry killed at the very beginning doesn't die in remake, it just hangs out in this hallway. Yeah. It it's likes... honestly pretty easy to avoid, because by the time you have to go to the back side of this this hallway, you'll be exiting another door that's behind him, so you'll almost never have to go face to face with him. Okay, well, I am not sure where to use this last key, so I'll just... I'll just go to the snake room. Figure it out later. Just hang on, do it. Let me go this way. Drop some stuff um, off. Pick some stuff up. Because I'm not going to have time to pick it up on the way back. That's fair. You wanted to get to the herbicide later in the, in my opinion, later than you do in the first game. In Remake. Not like a lot later, but you know, mm -hmm. just a little bit. Because there's, there's more steps in Remake, because there's more stuff to do. Yeah. So it just takes a little bit longer. I guess it doesn't have to take a little bit longer. You could do it right away if you wanted to. But I usually don't. Because it's not really relevant until... That's like the second to last mask I usually get, I think. Mm-hmm. I think I'm pretty good on healing items right now. So that's good. Doing alright. Shells. I'm gonna see if I can, um... 
juke around that snake and just grab the thing. I don't know if you can in the original. Um, I think you have to fight him. Do you fight him in the library? Yeah, you do. do you no, I don't. I don't think. No, I don't think so. I think that's only in remake. Then yeah, I think you might just fight him for the one and only time here. And I'm gonna take the shotgun with me. Good move. Or should I take the bazooka? Save the bazooka. Hmm. Save it. Okay. All right. Um. You don't want to waste it on the yawn when you can have it as a backup for the tyrant. Or That's what's true. the other boss? There is no other boss, unless you want to catch the shark. The shark isn't really a boss in this version. No, not really. You just kind of run away. And yeah. Then, then, and even in remake, he's just a puzzle boss. Yeah, the shark just, just kind of chases you. And Regardless, I'd save it for the tyrant, or at least the lab, and clear out some of the zombies. Yeah. I think I get a magnum as well, so... If you let Barry die, I think you do. Well, we'll go, we'll go for the good ending, so we save both Chris and Barry. The good boy ending! The good boy ending. We're gonna get the good boy ending, Lucy. We're a good egg. I mean, I... What if I could show the other endings off? It's up to you. You'd have to do another playthrough. Yeah. Or do, like, st strategically placed safe states. <laughs> Uh, well, you have to save right before you go to the lab to kill Barry. That's true. And for Chris's, you'd have to save right before Rebecca gets killed, which is like the first third of the game. No, it's when the hunters show up, so I guess it's when the second third of the game. Um, Still, that's a lot of the game left. Yeah, I'm not sure which... Let's see, that's the costume closet. Do you have a second floor map? Yeah. Mm. Why don't we just go try these rooms one at a time? Yeah. So there's the snake room. Yep. Snake rooms. Snake room is the first door on the yeah, right side. Yeah, and then the the other so room. It's none of the ones on the right side for sure. Yeah, because the other one needs a helmet key, and so maybe it's on the other side. Can you get there? Can you go back to the first floor map? Maybe you got to go down to the first floor. Go up those steps, maybe. Wait, what's that door back? Um, oh, that's locked. That's the bit kitchen. Yeah, we can't get in because um, it's locked from the other side. Um, what about there's that outside place and then there's that little empty room right next to it? That's the emblem key in Remake, but what about the original? The one at the top of the map? Yeah, you see the, that, the, one, the one right below the one at the top of the map. Oh, that, that takes square. Um, helmet, I think. Um, there was one other door on the first floor I saw that was, um, See, that's... so, it's like... Is it on the right side? Yeah, right side, bottom. That's... You go through the first floor door and then around. That's the closet key. Oh, okay. So... I don't know then. I guess... Yeah, it must be on the second floor somewhere. Maybe you need another key to get to that part of the... Maybe... Whatever, let's just go beat the crap out of the snake. Alright. But first we have to save Richard! Save. Save. Richard. Richard. I've used the arm- Wait, what? What? I thought that was for the shield key! <laughs> what? Oh, that's awesome. Isn't it the shield key in Remake? Uh, for what? The snake? Yeah. Uh... In uh, remake, you use the key on his door, his actual door. It's like covered. Oh, well, okay then. But what you use the armor key to get happened? in here. What happened? I guess. What happened? Chill. This house is Looks like a giant shark bit you. Terrible demon. Someone in chat Ouch. said, "Tis a snake." Tis a snake. What kind Ouch. of demon attacked you? That I can't read that it purple on the black background. Snake. And also poisonous. Uh, poisonous. Poisonous. Oh, no. Also Richard, poisonous. Hold on. There is serum. Oh no. Ouch. I should have brought some with me. 
No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. Thanks. I'm just gonna sit here and die. So one chief difference between this and Remake is in Remake... Okay, spo spoilers! In a, the original, he dies regardless if you get it in time or not. Time, quote-unquote. Because there is no time. You always just a few seconds short. Mm -hmm. In the remake, you can actually get it to him on time. And if you get it to him on time, you get the shotgun he has, which is a little bit better. If you get it to him too late, then you get nothing. Good day, sir. Nothing! You get nothing! Nothing! You, you lose! lose. I feel like you can save him. And maybe it's in Chris's scenario. I'm pretty sure he dies no matter what, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe you get to him at a certain time, but the cutscene's a little different, but I'm fairly certain he dies regardless in this version. And it's in Remake, he can either die from the poison or live to either get eaten by the snake for Jill and give him the assault shotgun or get eaten by the shark in Chris's scenario and you get the shotgun? No, you don't get the assault shotgun as Chris. No, you don't. I don't think so. Mm. Yeah, My memory's like... not perfect. I played Jill's scenario a lot more in Remake. Yeah, I've only played Chris's scenario once in Remake, and maybe twice in the original. I've done it more than once. I just usually pick Jill's, because it's easier to remember it all. Yeah. There's no weird timing, like trying to save Rebecca from the Hunters. Yeah. Yes, you do. It's where you electrocute the big shark. And this guy got it, I guess. Like I said, I don't play Chris's scenario in there as often. I guess you get it where you electrocute the big shark. That makes sense. Regardless, you get it much later. Shark bait. Ooh ha ha. Because you wouldn't get that until you're already in the residence, mm -hmm. as opposed to getting it near immediately, basically. Okay. That's why I'll be practicing Chris's scenario oh. twice. Here's the serum. He's alive. Richard, hold on. I'll give you a shot now. I'll Jill, give you a shot this now. Is my radio. You should keep it. I'm... No! Richard! Dill, be careful. Uh, uh, Dead. Be... No. Oh, that's what it is. If you take too long, he you come and he's just dead. But if you get uh, here in time, he talks to you and then he dies. Yay. Richard is dead. Especially in Remake, it's really easy to get to him in time. If you just look at your map for a second. You can basically just trace your route and get there in, like, under two minutes, not yeah. including loading screens. It's real easy. I know there's zombies here. Yeah, he's you in the hallway. You can't fool me! Hello. Um. Because in Remake, you basically just, just hit the balcony, go across, go across the second balcony, down the steps, then go back. Yeah. It's pretty easy. Spitting zombies garbage, so no matter about him. Okay. I'm not gonna go in there just yet. I'm gonna go uh, and in Remake, this room right here is where you get the second half of the music sheet. I think in the 90s, nobody really cared about yeah, the voice with, acting. With, with hindsight. Well, this game was always kind of... Particular, right? Everyone always kind of joked about the particularly cheesy lines. Well, yeah, about the lines, but not about the... But the voice acting was more of a situation where we have hindsight to know that yeah. it's really bad. And with the hindsight plus the original fact that the lines were always really silly, it's just a really fun time listening to the voices and the dialogue in this game. I think there's a zombie back here. You went out, cat. You went... You go, nope. kid. you go, kitty. Go on. In Remake, there's a zombie hiding out back here. There's... And then the other zombie comes in the room. Yep. 
He's like, hi, there's a party in here. I saw your light on. Room. Uh, you left your <laughs> light on. Um. But, uh. I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, in, in Remake, that room's kind of annoying, in my opinion. Because the zombies are faster than they are in, re in Remake than they are in the original. Yeah. So, that room's a little bit difficult. Because okay, so you go I'm in, and then the zombie yeah. comes after you, regardless of whether or not you turn the, the, the lamp on. There's the master there. of unlocking. You better take it with you. Better take it with you. Just a moment! I found something! Okay, I... Kind of wish that they had made the snake in Remake look a little bit more sickly like he does here. Because while he does have those bumps and boils, they have, he has a lot less of them in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And he looks less sick. Excuse me. Damn it. I think you have to party. Okay, get out of the corner so I can go back there. Well, maybe not. Maybe you can just get him out of the corner and uh, grab your crest. Uh, in a remake, there's a death mask in here, not a uh, crest. Mm hmm. Because the death masks replace the crests as your early game puzzle. Don't. Now the crest is relegated to. Uh, get out of my way. Out. Mag. Out. 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 The remake way. snake really got nerfed. Yeah, he's really easy in Remake. Um, you can- it's really easy to fight him with just the pistol. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> okay, I jerk. I- I juked. <laughs> juked him, sure. Uh, the library boss fight against the snake is particularly easy. In my opinion. Am I poisoned? And if you- Give Uh, if sound. you don't get poisoned, you don't get this cutscene. In the following events. Don't happen. Doesn't really change anything. It just teleports you to a safe room if you get poisoned. I wonder whose fingers those are. <laughs> we'll never know. Da, da, da. So Barry just sweeps you up and drops your button here. Mm-hmm. Barry. Barry? Barry. Barry? Berries and cream. Enrico! <laughs> Enrico! Yeah? <laughs> the late comforter already pretty much pumped for... Pretty... Bleh. A bit of a late comforter to Resident Evil. Pretty pumped for Resident Evil 2 Remake. Hope the giant gator is there. Uh, we, as far as I know, we both pretty much agree on both of those statements. Mm -hmm. I know I'm 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 pumped for remake two, and I'd love to see the giant gator again. Yeah, that would be really good. In, um, I don't know if I'd say I'm a late comer to Resident Evil more that I was young enough that I kind of just wasn't able to play it when it first started coming around. So I got too late in that when I was finally old enough to start playing them. The series had already been going on for a while, but I've played just about every mainline game. I should probably leave my... You won't need the shotgun anytime soon. Yeah. Let me go ahead and save. I've been playing Resident Evil for a really long time, so... And Resident Evil 2 is one of my favorites, so I'm very excited for the okay. remake. She's the traditional, like, Resident Evil veteran. I'm, uh... Like I said, I wasn't able to get into it until much later because of my age. Fully beaten Resident Evil 2 remake, RE4 and RE7. Well, you pretty much hit all the highlights, at least. Mm -hmm. You hit all the really, really standout ones. I think it'd be worth going back and playing the ones you missed, though, if you liked those games. Yeah, I think... I think I pretty much played all of them except Survivor. The uh, Outbreak or, games. As far as... Out, as far as spin-offs go, I'm a little less well-versed. Um, me and you played Operation um, Raccoon City. Yes. It was not good. <laughs> we didn't finish it, but... We didn't finish it. I think 6 was the hardest. Mm-hmm. Um... Hardest, hardest is Code Veronica. Yeah. By a long shot, Code Veronica is the hardest. Um, RE6 is fine, like, once, if you play it with a friend, but it's not that great, really. 5 was a fun time. 
One is a classic, but, you know, it's aged. Two is pretty much better in every way. I think three was neat. <laughs> yes. I didn't play it personally, but everything I've seen about it, it's pretty neat. I like zero. It's just a bit different than the other ones compared to how you manage your items. Zero is the big one I haven't played at all. Besides, like I've gotten through the train and that's it. Mm -hmm. um, I own it twice, so it's not like I don't have an opportunity yet. I just haven't gotten to do it yet. Yeah, I have it on GameCube, and then I just recently got it on Steam. I have it on my PlayStation 4 and on Steam. Um, I'd say my favorites are Remake and 4, followed by, like, a tie between 7 and 2. And I haven't played 7 personally, but Brutes streamed it. Which I might want to redo now that I <laughs> have a different microphone. <laughs> yeah, we could redo it. The game's pretty, pretty, pretty quick. I can get through it real fast. Yeah. Maybe uh, when I can get the PC version working. Okay. Yeah, they took away item boxes. Played Zero Remake right after One's Remake. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm not looking forward to is the no item boxes, because... I don't know. I, I'm just... I like to minimize backtracking to, like, yeah. just the, the item boxes. And now I'll have to remember where all my junk is. Well, you can. I don't get that. It's on the map, but yeah, I'll have to get there. That's the other problem. Yeah. That's okay though. I'll still play through it. I I just picked certain rooms to dump all my items in, and then I would just, and I picked a central location where like the save, the the typewriter was. The game early because I just knew that my mentality I'd be running back and forth constantly because of the items. I guess that's why you just pick like a room to dump them all yep. in and just always go back there. And if I mean, it would be take a while, but you could just go dump anything unnecessary there and come back for plot items. Yeah. The little survivor's terrible. I that's, never... the, that's, the, that's the that's the gun game, I think, like the light gun game. I've never played it. I just remember seeing it. I heard rent. they're pretty short, and I keep meaning to uh, give them a run through. Maybe I can stream them sometime for mm. you and anyone else. Um, but they're also really bad, which is why I haven't done it yet. Because I'm already the bad game guy in like the CLG group, so <laughs> I <laughs> have to kind of pace myself when it comes to playing bad games. Because I have a lot of other bad games. I think it's PS1. I think Survivor and Dead Aim were PS1 games. Oh, there's a, there's a doggy behind me. Yeah, there's always dogs out here. Dreamcast was Code Veronica, and then it got re-released for the PlayStation 2. Uh, it's probably the hardest mainline game, in my opinion. To the point where I haven't beaten it yet, because it's, it's a real pain in the butt. <laughs> for lack of a swear word that I'm Mm -hmm. Intentionally trying not to use right now. <laughs> no, I don't like Code Veronica. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of mixed on it because I don't like a lot of it, but I like what it wanted to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I get kind of clapped because I love the idea behind what it wanted to be as far as its place in the series. Did you play The Evil Within? Yes, I played both of them. I have a video all about why I didn't like it. <laughs> uh, the second one I thought was a lot better, though. I thought the second one was a legitimately good game. Bad. This is Jill. That's but for the. the first one I wasn't a fan of. This is Brad. Evil Guide, and that's for the GBA, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. I haven't played that one yet. Mm -hmm. It's on my list, but I have a lot of things on my list, and that one's pretty low on the priority list because it's non-canon. So Brad. why would I? fight for it. It's definitely something I intend to look into playing one of these days, though. I've seen an LP of it. Gosh, there's a lot of herbs around here. You are playing a beginner, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, they're, po they're blue herbs. That makes sense, because of where you're going. Yeah. But, yeah, as far as Evil Within goes, the first one, it was one of those games where like I was interested in it, and I was hyped for it, and I like what it wanted to be. But when it came out, I just wasn't satisfied or impressed to the point where 
like well, I think it was like two or three years after its release, I made I ended up making a video, my first video on my new the channel I made new just for this purpose, just talking about my my biggest problem with it. And then I had and then I just didn't upload for like almost two years. <laughs> I remember that video? I I was pretty impressed with myself just because I managed to make it all the way through, like make the whole video and put it out there. Mm -hmm. Video itself was okay, I guess. You know, it's eh. First video of that style, of course, it's not great. But I was just impressed that I put the work into it. I've been playing Darkwood to scratch that survival horror itch. Dark uh, I know what Darkwood is. It's a top-down uh, horror game released on Steam. Hmm. Uh, it's like a, like a weird European village. It's so enveloped by this weird mystery forest and disease, and it's a thing. I haven't played it personally, but I've been kind of interested in it. Um, so I haven't had much to scratch my survival horror itch. It's kind of part of the reason we started playing the Resident Evil games again. Yeah. There's, there's no real worth a dang survival horror releases for probably till December, right? Uh, then, yeah. I can't could... think of anything that important coming mm -hmm. out that I'm looking forward to. There's a lot of things in the, like, the distance that I'm looking forward to, mm -hmm. like the Call of Cthulhu remake and Resident Evil 2 remake, but in the short term, there's not a whole lot that hasn't already come out that I'm interested in, survival horror wise, so it's a bit time to just go back and replay or play things I miss. That's how I finally knocked down Amnesia. I just sat down with a buddy one night and we both played through it at the same time. <laughs> nice. Start to finish whole game. Yeah, I have Amnesia, I just haven't played it. Game. The first two thirds are some of the best horror stuff i played, and the last third is fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, hi! Work, work. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. All the puppies. Yeah, Ow! This part has a lot of dogs in the remake as well. It's tough. Okay, how am I? I'm on caution. Well, there's plenty of verbs. I would save the boys in once. There's more. Alright. <laughs> and there's a lot more in the other room. It's fine. I was just suggesting. You're the one playing. Yeah. Pick these up. I'm kind of in the mood to play Silent Hill again, too, but I want to wait till I get a working capture card before I, I do that. I need to play the first one. I'm like <laughs> not even halfway through it. I just own it sitting on my PlayStation 3. Yeah. I got to the the first boss and it kicked my butt. The um like the gator guy. Yeah, you gotta like walk backwards and shoot him in the mouth, and the game doesn't explain how to walk backwards very well, so I'm struggling with that. Yeah, you gotta wait for him to open his mouth and then you shoot the crap out of him. Everything for games with item scale should be built in two on the harder difficulty is pretty good for that. Uh, I yeah, I, I liked. Uh, I won't get too deep into it because I. I'm debating making like a follow-up video about how I felt about the sequel, but in short, I thought the new the turn towards like a proper open world hub between the levels made all the exploration feel more gratified and justified the lack of uh, too many items. Because you could always look around for more and you always just kind of had enough where if you were smart, you could uh, make your way through any situation they gave you. Mm -hmm. As opposed to the first game where I thought it was, uh, it tried to be open, but it ended up just being too linear. And its linearity just kind of ruined any prospect of having enough supplies to make a fun time out of it while still being st stuck to struggle. Hold on a second. There are okay. fireworks right outside my window. <laughs> what? Yeah. 
This one uh, when I was driving to get some ice cream before we started streaming. Uh, there were these dudes. Their their house is on like a slant. Oh, I heard that one. Yep. And uh, they fired it, and like two like smoke, two of the like little balls landed in the street. And then he shot another one up, and it just went straight into the air. And I was like, all right. Okay, I think they're done. Okay. <laughs> Didn't go too open world and fill the map with wave-based defenses, defense misses, or other generic crap like that. Well, it wouldn't have fit the game, but I I just like the, the the hub world just gratified the style of gameplay they wanted to go for a lot more, and it didn't work with the way they wanted to do the first game because they wanted to do Resident Evil 4, but they didn't want to give you Resident Evil 4 levels of items, so it just didn't mesh. Um. And I, I ended up feeling like the last few levels of the second or the first game did just kind of turn into a generic mess, where they just shoved monsters after you one at a time. It didn't mesh well with anything else in the game either, which is my big problem with the first game. It was just kind of a poorly put together, like tonally deaf mishmash of different styles that didn't go well together. And the second game did a much better job of making it one cohesive product. It's turned it from a game that I didn't like to a game that I thought was okay. I have no reason to play it again, but it certainly happened. Okay. I'll save all those blue herbs. Now I can say I did watch fireworks for like <laughs> ten seconds. Uh, the ice cream, the, the Dairy Queen I got ice cream at was right, was like a couple streets away from when they're shooting them from, so I got a pretty good view. Nice. Okay. Doing pretty good on ammo, so that's good. And then this room is scary in Remake, because you see the spider... Oh wait, is that this room? No, it's not this room, never mind. It's the bull room. Yeah. Oh, hi. I think this room has a guy hanging in it, though. Get off. One of these rooms has a dude hanging in it. How am I doing? How am I doing? You're fine. Good. It's a book. I will take this book. Is it a book with stuff I have to read? It's a red book. Oh, that's just for plant 42. Nothing important. That's my favorite. All the pages are blank. What's it Oops. for? It's a diary. It's a diary. What's a diary? I think there's a guy in here. Uh, I think there's a remake at least. Comes out of the bathtub? Mm, nope. Nope. Er, no, the bathtub's the other bathroom. Muddy the water. Ew. Someone was playing in the mud. Enrico! Enrico! Yeah. <laughs> Were you playing in the mud, Enrico? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there's nothing else in here. Still my favorite line reading the whole game. Yeah. Yeah. He just sounds so unconcerned because he's sitting there dying. This yet? Uh, you won't on. need that until it's time to fight uh, the plant. So I'll just put that there. And then I will take one of my handy dandy green herbs. 
stuff it in your mouth. And go num num num. And I'm fine. Enrico! Enrico! <laughs> yeah? It's this room that the spider comes down. You're like... <gasps> yeah, you'll be... The camera angle's different. It faces toward you, and you see him climbing on the wall. Well, that's just great. Okay, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run around! Grab his stuff. They're also much slower in Remake. They spend more time facing you, and less dashing at you like that. Mm -hmm. So they're a lot easier to deal with. Uh, and you get enough ammo, you can just unload on all of them if you wanted to. In easy mode. Normal mode, not so much. But I usually play on easy, not very easy. No, I'm gonna go get my shotgun. Because I have to do a puzzle in here. Oops. I can just look up what the code usually is. I think it's always one of, like, six combinations. <laughs> I keep running into the bastard. Where's the door? There it is. <laughs> and in this in a remake, it's always a combination of the numbers, like, six, five, and nine, I think. Mm -hmm. And I think in the original, it's always a combination of three, six, and nine. Okay, let's see. How would you heal with the green herb? Eat like broccoli? The other... Some of the other games imply they spray it, they turn it into a spray. But it's powder form and means to me they snort it. I've always just accepted that they crush it to a powder and snort it through their nose. They even put it on a little paper. Though, considering they put it on a little paper, maybe they do just roll it into a joint. When you combine two herbs, they do just kind of roll it into a little paper. Or put it in a little paper. They just roll it up and... Mm, Coke. I won't save it just yet. I'll save it when I'm about to stop. I think it's funnier to imagine them snorting it, though. Okay, where's my shotgun? Shotgun. Shells. Stopping in the middle of battle to snort crushed up plant. I always just assumed it was like, like pixie sticks or something. Powdered sugar, and you just nom nope, it. In their mouth. Like, nah. Yeah. No, I think they nom it if it's eaten just a green and it's the plant as a whole. But for the uh, crushed up ones, they, they have to snort it. You could also wrap it into a ball and swallow it. That's true. They could just roll it up. There we go. Oh, now I'm gonna leave because there's they little babies running everywhere. Their tastes bad. What if it doesn't snort bad, though? It could just. Okay. The little babies just, like, are gone now. I just love cocaine, okay? <laughs> it's broken. We can't play the pinball machine. On the off chance my father finds this, that's a joke. A nine ball. <laughs> yeah, I bet it is always three, six, and nine. Three. Oh, I bet I'm right. And what is the other one pointing to? Three. The green one's at the front end. Six. Yeah, I guess yep. they could also just rub it on the wound. Oh, they bit me in the neck. Let's just smather this crushed up herb on the on the bite. Just rub it all around. There we go. Also, I don't think we've mentioned it in this stream. Anyway, this is the director's cut. That means the soundtrack is really weird. Wait till we get to the basement. Yeah, we're just about there. Dude. <laughs> uh, in remake, there's like boxes here, so you just kind of climb up the boxes instead. Oh. Otherwise, um, 
a vine whips out and smacks you. You get vine whipped. We stream through all of uh, Resident Evil 2 as well. Um, yep. Which is up on her YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. So, you can watch that if you so desire. The original soundtrack was better? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I think Remakes is better than both, personally, mm -hmm. but... You know. Yeah, it's down here. Another thingy. Ba the basement kitchen track, yeah. That's the one. More herbs. I'm not gonna pick them up right now. Also, I'm very glad I don't have to deal with bees. Oh, I have to deal with bees. In this hallway. A remake adds bees. Actually, I think there are bees in this one. Hmm. Aren't they in the next room? Yeah. Cause they're like over yeah. here, I think. And yep. Rico. But there's a key there. Let me just. It's locked. Place is 03. <sighs> this is also locked. We're sort of it's, the, it's the code door, though, right? Yeah. It's a combination of three, six, and nine. Let's go. Pick up the thing. Thank you. I'm gonna get stung to death by bees. I control bees. <laughs> I control bees. Grenade, bee grenade, bikini. I want to play Metal Gear Solid Three. That was I, a good game. I am the sorrow. The fear. The fear. Would you be scared if I ran around jumping around and screaming my own name? The fear, the fear, the fear, the fear, the fear. <laughs> <laughs> That's my least favorite boss in that game, I think. Him and the Fury. I came back from space, and now I'm gonna set the world on fire! The Fury is just because he's boring. It's not really hard. Mm -hmm. And the the fear is just kind of annoying. What's the best fight in that game? I don't... Ocelot's got a pretty good one. Um, the last fight with the second to last fight with Bulgan is pretty solid as well. Mm -hmm. uh, before he hops in the Shagohod. The Shagohod! The Shagohod! I never actually played any of the Metal Gear Solid games. All I know of... I've, I've I've watched like cutscene, quote unquote, movie versions on YouTube yeah. of the games, and then um, I like the whole series a lot. And then the Hem Daisy comics. Except five, I I'm not a big fan of five. I like one through four a lot. Plant forty two. <clears throat> Plant forty two report. Four days have passed since since the accident. And the plant at point forty-two is growing amazingly fast. Oh, hang on. Somehow I never finished three. I quit playing like the last area. Oh, three is so good. <clears throat> it has been affected by the T virus differently than any other plants have been, and shows unique shape in addition to its size. Looking at the way it behaves, it is now difficult to determine what kind of plant it was originally. There are two ways in which plant forty-two gathers nutrition. The first one is through the root that reaches into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and broke the water tank in the basement. Now the basement is filled with water. It is easily imaginable that some chemical elements were blended in the water and promotes the incredibly fast growth of Plant 42. Another part of Plant 42 from the basement grows through the duct that hangs down like so many bulbs from the ceiling of the first floor. Many vines come out of those bulbs and they are the second resource for its nutrition. Once sensing movement, Plant 42 shoots its vines around the prey and holds it. Then it starts sucking up blood using the suckers located at the back of its vine. It also has some intelligence. It blocks the door by 
twining? Twining its vines around it, especially when it captures prey or is sleeping. Several staff members have already fallen victim to this. May 21st, 1998. Henry Sarton. Hey, several staff members have already died to it. That's alright. That's fine. I finished one Twin Snakes, two, four Grand Zeros, and five. I, I have finished you. one, two, three, four, and five. I didn't play Grand Zeros, and I haven't played Snake Twin Snakes. Because Twin Snakes is expensive. Twin Snakes! And also, I just own the first game, so why would I want to play the Weird Matrix version? Let's see. I'm going to pick up these herbs here. I need to go into that room to make the um, the little concoction. One and three are my favorite, or like the ones I consider the most replayable. Um, not not my favorites necessarily, but they're the ones that are the easiest to sit down and replay. Two and four are pretty much just as good in my opinion, though. It's one of those series where, unless I'm just playing one or three, I'm just gonna play the whole series again. I would kill for a copy of Twin Snakes, like. Mur like just straight up murder, you know. Mhm. Mm for I own one on the PSN. Uh, so Twin Six was for the GameCube, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here and this here. All the green herbs. Um, I think that's enough room. Yeah, it should be. Well, you'll give it the key too, so if you go into the lab, or are you making the vigil? I'm making the vigil. I'm not sure then. Before going down there, I guess we'll. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it. I guess if you need to, you can just open the the lab and then leave and go back. Yeah. More fireworks. Kaboom! Kaboom! It's locked. I know it's locked. So it's three, six, nine. Yeah. A combination thereof. Just do six six six. Yep. <laughs> One, three. Oh, the pool cues on the pool table are in the shape of hands on a clock. The time is the code for the room. And I assume the pool cues tells you what numbers it's gonna be? I don't know. It was three, six, nine, I think. Well, I pushed the yeah, those key. were your pull cues, yeah. Hmm, let's go look at it again. This is the puzzle that I hate so much that I just have the three possible numbers that could be memorized for remake, and I can just force the door open. Because it's always like a combination of the same three numbers. Mm -hmm. So I can just brute force it. Haha, <laughs> it's funny because my username. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Okay, so... So if this is six... This would be... So which one's the minute hand? The longer one? Are they the same length? So, let's see... Well, we'll just look at what pool cue it's pointed at, and we'll just assume that the two... We can just make some... So, like, there can only be two options, right? Because... So, we'll just... Nine. So, it could either be, like, I guess, 9... It'd be 9 to 36, or 6 to 39. 9... And then this is a 3, so it's 9... 20? 9 20... Let's try that.
Actually, wait. Minute hand is longer, so it would be... It would be three... Forty-five. Okay. I can think. <laughs> In Remake, it's a little bit different. There's like oil lamps and stuff. I think I remember that. And it's dumb, and I just memorized the numbers and brute forced my way through the door. Just hit all the buttons. Hit all the buttons. Would you say 345? You push the keys. Yep, there we go. We're in! And now begins... Another puzzle. Something is written on the wall. When please One plus... Okay, head. <laughs> One plus two equals three. Three plus four equals seven. Two plus four equals six. Six plus seven equals thirteen. Thirteen plus three equals sixteen. Actually, Did you pick up the V-Jolt recipe? I think it's in the other room. Because we need that. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it's all gibberish. What does this mean? Wait! Do I need to go down there first? Yeah, right. I think you do. I was wanting to do it before I went down there, but okay. You have the backtrack. I have the backtrack. Also, if you come here at a specific point in the game, I think it's before you have the key to this place, you will hear Barry arguing with someone. Yes. And you hear him say, well, what about my family? You could also find that same cutscene in Remake, so that's fun. Oh, okay. That's good. I think... Uh, it's pretty much identical in terms of... like, relevance. I meant to show it off last time we did this, and I spaced it and didn't... Wah, wah. There's water in there. I want to make a bridge. But Jill, you're not the engineer. I want to make a bridge. Jill, stop. <laughs> Just stop, Jill. <laughs> See, I'm making a bridge. Jill, this is serious work. <laughs> oh, what is this soundtrack? I know. What was that? It's, it's terrible. <laughs> Push it. There you go. Shit, feel. I wish it was the way to like mod the director's cut to make it have the original soundtrack. Sure there is a way. I'm just lazy. Yeah, me too. I probably need to stop soon. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it's midnight here. How that stops me, but you know. So I'll, I'll make the bridge and go use this key and get the other key. And then. Get the key on the key on the key with the key. And then we can make the. Oh. Splish finish. Yeah, I got room. I'll pick those up. And then we can make the V jolt next time. And, and meet Plant 42. And Neptune! Neptune! What a load of barnacles! <clears throat> and they're gonna show up here any minute. Oh yeah, it is completely different now. 
Yep. Because you don't you don't go up in that one thing. Mm mm. The the room the is completely. Oh, this isn't the room I want to be in. I like swimming. Load up barnacles. The sharks are gonna come and eat me in a minute here. Shark bait. Ooh ha ha. Ooh ha ha. No, it's locked. There we go. Oh, this f stinking music. We made it before the sharks bit us. The music? We made the music before the sharks bit us? We made it into the room. There's a lever. This is roughly the halfway point. Yep. Fireworks. I don't actually hear those, so that's fun. I'll push the button. Pull the lever, push the button, bop it, twist it. Nothing special. I heard that every day in high school. Nothing special? Yeah. Now they're now they're flopping. That is the easy. Yeah, I guess in this game they really aren't a boss. They're just a shark. Yeah. That yeah. one's slightly bigger. Yep, yeah, that's Neptune. More like. And his babies. More like flounder. <laughs> now they're gonna die a slow, painful death without water. Ooh, ammo. Ammunition. Oh, they're all wet, wet and useless. Oh, there's the key. I was also called that a lot in high school as well. That's sad. <laughs> I'll take the key. Look at that loser. He's wet and useless. That's one of my favorite jokes because I can make it about almost any statement and it still kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. And I believe Cavill has fled under the bed. He'll be fine under there. Because he's like, yeah! Fireworks! Hi, sharks. Question is do I put you out of your misery? If you had the knife, I'd say yes. Just stab, stab, stab. We're having seafood tonight. As she looks around and remembers no one's there. <laughs> so she's shit she shit she sadly just puts a like a cube of shark meat in her mouth and starts chewing. <laughs> awkwardly and silently and alone. Mm-hmm. I'm all alone. Uh. I'm so alone. And she just hears Chris shout, I'm trying to take a nap here. <laughs> He's just been taking a nap this entire time. He's just napping in one of the spare rooms. Smoking those green herbs. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny because it sounds like he's smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a shadow leggy yeah. um, video where it has. where it's like a, her rendition of Resident Evil 5. Then it just has Chris like in a room by himself smoking the uh, green herbs. 
so I need to do my, I need to finish. I need to at least have Jill's practice run done by the time we're done with Resident Evil 1. Yeah. And I need to play through Resident Evil 4 again. Yeah, I'm practicing zero, so that'll be ready to go. You got time on that one. Yeah. Save my progress. Save her progress. Okay. Next time, oh. we'll go make the vigil and take care of the plant and do some other stuff. Yay. Woo. Yeah. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.